Once we've completed all of our pre-swing movements, weight transfer back, stride separation, our lower half will start to swing. The sequence of the lower half starting to swing is foot, knee, hip, and hands last. It's very important then when working on the sequencing of the swing that it happens in this order. How the lower half starts to swing. Once my stride foot hits the ground, I'm going to land on the inside ball of my foot. We talked about during the stride. As I land on the inside ball of my foot, my front heel will plant. This will keep my front knee inside my foot. Once this front heel plants, the back heel is going to lift, which turns the back knee. The back knee turns, which turns the back hip, and the back hip is going to knock the front hip out of the way. So as the hitter strides, lands on the inside ball of the foot, the front heel lands, the back heel will lift, back knee will turn, knocks out the back hip, back hip knocks out the front hip, while the hands are trying to stay back. Once the stride foot is planted, and the back heel lifts and starts to turn the back knee, the hitter must try to keep his hands back in a strong hitting position in this fashion. This is how torque is created. Torque can be defined as a separation between the lower half and the hands. Torque is a key to generating rotation and bat speed. When the stride foot plants and the back heel lifts and the back knee turns, the hands stay back in a strong hitting position. The front shoulder is still remains closed. Now the lower half is leading the hands. The hands will come last. A lot of young hitters and a lot of professional hitters as well, when their stride foot hits the ground, their first movement is they try to start their swing with their hips, and they don't start from the ground up. When a hitter starts his swing with his hips, in this position right here, the front shoulder will start opening and the hands will start coming forward. Now we said torque is created by the separation between the lower half and the hands. So in other words, the back knee and the hands should be in this position. If the hips start to swing, the front shoulder will start to open up and the hips will come forward and now the lower half catches up and it eliminates the ability for us to create torque. So the focus here should be as you stride forward, ball of the foot, plant, back heel lift, hands stay back and close. Now you can make the adjustments to the ball anywhere that they're in the hitting zone. Once all pre movements are completed, the swing begins. It is initiated from the ground up and happens in sequence so that all body parts are incorporated in the swing for maximum impact. Once the stride foot heel is on the ground, the back heel will lift and initiate rotation. The back knee will then turn. As the foot and knee begin rotation, the front side can remain closed and set up the hips to lead the hands. The hands are still back in the launch position. The lower half leading the hands is how the hitter develops torque. Torque is a key in forceful rotation and bat speed. If the hitter starts with the hips first, the front shoulder will open prematurely and the hands will start forward too soon.